great coach. And as always, we appreciate you taking some time to join us. Coach, if you could start us out with an opening statement uh, regarding your team's most recent outing there at Mississippi Valley State. Yeah, we uh, went down to uh, Mississippi Valley uh, Thursday night, play on uh, ESPNU, great opportunity for both programs and the SWAC to get uh, another game on national TV. And um, I, I guess it was a good game. It was a good game for them. They won the game uh, 30 to 20. Um, I don't think we ever led in the game. They got the lead and we tied it up and then they went back down and scored and uh, got to take your hats off to Coach Danzy and his coaching staff. They did a great job of uh, having their team ready to play, not quitting. Uh, you know, it wasn't a season that they wanted and uh, his team never quit. They never gave up. Uh, they played like they was 8-0 instead of 0-8 and uh, you know, we we weren't ready to uh, to meet their intensity and uh, and their fight, and uh, they won the football game. So again, congratulations to Coach Danzy and Mr. Valley. Appreciate those comments, Coach. We'll open up for questions for Coach Maynard. First question goes to Dr. Cavill. This is Kenyatta, Dr. Bills, inside the HBC Sports Lab. Good morning, Coach Maynard. Good morning, Doc. Good. Uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the, the Valley game that you did. Uh, you were able to put up some yards in terms of passing, but the turnovers, both in terms of interceptions and fumbles, seem to be costly uh, in that matchup. Um, and that's been uh, a trend that is certainly that I'm sure that you're not happy with. Talk a little bit about the need to take care of the ball uh, during any football contest, particularly with your team. Correct. Correct. We had uh, four, turn four turnovers. Uh... <clears throat> And you could say five or six because we went for it on fourth down uh, twice. Mm -hmm. one, one time was late in the football game. And, uh, you know, you can't turn the ball over four or five times uh, against a good football team. Uh, and uh, that's what Valley are. They, they play hard. I told my team before the week started, this is going to be the best 0-8 football team you're ever going to play. And uh, they proved me right. And, uh, and they took it to us. So, uh, you yeah. know, but the turnovers, you can't you can't beat anybody to turn the ball over four or five times. Uh, yeah, we did put up uh, a few numbers, but at the end of the day, the only stat I care about is the W's and the L's. So uh, we got the L. Moving forward, you move on to Jackson State, um, that uh, obviously is nine and zero, just the opposite of the team you played in terms of winless. They they've been able to win every game. Um, top five in terms of the country, in terms of their ranking, obviously number one in most uh, HBCU rankings. Um, what is some teams? That, what are some things that you see in that matchup that you still think uh, your team is able to get done uh, to come away victorious? Man, uh, I'll be honest. I don't know. I don't know. They got a, Coach Sanders has done a tremendous job um, in, in putting together that team. The team is better than the team he had last year. Uh, of course, Shadur is playing excellent quarterback. And when you got a quarterback, man, it always gives you a chance. And uh, he got the best in the league and it gives him a great chance to win every week. He got uh, two, 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 three running backs that they go to that all are uh, capable of getting the job done. He revamped that offensive line from last year. It's even better. Uh, you got four wide receivers that you can go to. You got uh, Travis also, Hunter, the play some wide receiver and DB. Uh, then you go to the defense and got the best defense in the nation. The number one defense they give up like seven, eight points a game. Uh, that D-line is tremendous. And of course, they led by Aubrey Miller Jr. at a linebacker, uh, the best in the business. Uh, then that secondary, those guys just play uh, lock up, man. I got him. You got him. Let's go get it. And uh, they're doing a tremendous job. They don't allow a lot of uh, points and uh, or yards and that matter they number one in everything so it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough uh, uh, we look forward to the challenge we gonna, we gonna show up a mobile and uh, give it our best and see if we can't keep this thing close and see if we can't make a play in the fourth quarter that's all we can do certainly thanks coach look forward to the matchup great points mm -hmm. next question goes to Mo Carter 
Hey, Coach, so obviously, you know, the loss to Mississippi Valley was definitely tough. Um, what's the mindset of your team right now coming from that and then rolling into the game against the team that's won the swag last year and now leading the swag once again? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it wasn't very good uh, over the weekend, uh, you know, uh, playing on national TV in Mississippi Valley and losing that football game, the game that we thought we could win, and uh, we didn't do it. And so that's very deflating. Uh, but then you got to put it behind you, and you got to get ready to play the best team in the league, which is uh, Jackson State. And uh, like I just said, they, they got everything going for them. They got the best quarterback. Uh, they got the best team. They got the best defense. Uh, Coach Sanders has done a super job, a super job of getting his guys ready to compete every week. And uh, and that's what they've been doing. So, uh, again, uh, we look forward to the challenge. It's going to be a great challenge, and we have to play well. We have to play perfect football if we want to have a chance to uh, play with these guys. And obviously, Mobile is an area that has been rich when it comes to recruiting for Alabama and them, a pretty large alumni base for the Bulldogs down there, too. But as we looked at the numbers, Jackson State, some um, fans, they've been traveling quite well. Um, you know, throughout the years, especially these last couple of years with uh, Coach Sanders at the helm. So uh, when it comes to fan support and whatnot, what are you looking for your fans, you know, to try to help you, you know, kind of make this a half and half ordeal down since this technically is a neutral side game? Well, I think this game is sold out. and I think it's been sold out for a while. So uh, hopefully it's, uh, it'll be about 50-50. Uh, our, our fans have bought up tickets and, and Jack fans have bought up tickets. Hopefully – uh, Jackson fans didn't buy them all over four hours. Got a chance to buy them, and uh, we can use that 12th man to uh, help us out and get us fired up and uh, uh, help keep us in the game. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you, Mark. Currently taking questions for Coach Maynard. With Any final questions for Coach? Coach Maynard, as always, we appreciate your time. Look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thank you, Andrew. I just want to congratulate all the coaches this past week. They hit W's. Appreciate it, Coach.